Hi, everyone. Welcome to our show, Find Me a Luxury Home. We're in Los Angeles today where we'll be touring three gorgeous properties with our buyer, Mary. I build schools in Africa. Hi, my name is Mary Finero, and I'm from the Omni Peace Foundation. And we are here building our eighth school, our first music school in Kigali, Rwanda. Musicians Without Borders provides music therapy to children living with HIV. What does it cost to build a school in Africa? $27,000. So I spend a lot of time there, which is probably why my taste in homes or the home that I'm going to have has to be able to accommodate that kind of eclectic taste where you can throw everything together and somehow make it work. I've worked with Mary before when she purchased her current house, but with her charity work now, she's looking for something a little bit bigger with more space, hosting functions and entertaining. She's undecided if she wants to use the money from her recent sale to purchase one house that she'll live in or to buy one and purchase another as an investment. So we have a wide range of price points depending on what route she decides to take. We're beginning with a stunning penthouse in Beverly Hills. It's a little bit outside of her comfort zone, not something she's used to seeing. Purchasing this house means she'll have money left over to purchase another investment property. I'm curious to see if this is something that will work for her. Come on into this one. I know it's a little different than what you were expecting. What I usually look at. Yeah. This is a penthouse suite overlooking the city, but it's got amazing light. I was kind of only open to houses, but I do like seeing things that surprise me. I love the brick. Yeah, I know. It's got different textures yeah. going on. I love this really high ceilings. I love the brick wall. Beautiful. My, oh, my banquette. Yes. Interesting, interesting styles, right? Yes. Okay, but so I love that eclectic. I have to tell you right now, I want to have a banquette in any house that, that, that we choose. It's yellow, it's happy. Well, that's what's amazing about this particular space, although it's a penthouse and you wanted a house, and we're gonna look at a couple right. other properties. Right. But this has that feel. And I was so against a seeing a penthouse, penthouse but it yeah. has that feel, right? right? It's got everything that you want. I loved the kitchen. The downstairs I like. I like the way that it all kind of flows together. Okay, so let's go to the master. Let me show you the master. So this is your gorgeous master. You've got a walk-in closet, right. ample space, and sitting area, which could be your office. Right. Which you Although wanted. then I never leave, leave the house. <laughs> but if you got a huge, luxurious oh, bathroom. Right. Look at the lights in here. Soaking tub. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. You've got this great landing here. Oh, a little <laughs> bit of a game changer. Nice surprise. You wouldn't yeah, think this, this is, is up here. This is completely unexpected. I love the black and white. Mm -hmm. Your zen area. This yes. could be that. that could, Meditation yeah, this space. This is a good zen area, actually. That's <laughs> great. Okay. Well, we have two more to see. Yeah. Are you no, curious I, about how much this is at all? Of course. I, yeah. yeah. What do you think it is? Take a guess. Three, two. Close. Really? 2.9. So now we're in Brentwood, about a 20 minute drive away from the previous property to show her this stunning transitional brand new home. So yeah. this is completely different okay. from where we just came from. Right. This is a 6,000 square foot house. So I'll let you go in first. First impressions are everything. White and wood. Okay. Woody white. Okay. Big kitchen. Big kitchen. I love, as we said in the other house, Kitchen, living Open room, concept. dining room, everything kind of flows mm -hmm. together. It's a lot of wood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you've yeah, got this, this amazing beautiful. space outside. Right. And you hear the birds. And I hear the birds. And I don't get to see in other people's houses. Yeah, it's pretty private here. Yeah. Uh, you've got the ficus around the property, so that's going to grow a little bit higher, okay. and it will cover. Do you think that's fake grass? <laughs> That's always you my question. You can always change this that. Off of the kitchen, you have an actual entryway there, but from yeah. the entrance, you have another entryway into this really great, just one level. Office. Office <laughs> to sitting area, a, right. a little more formal, yeah. into your dining area. We saw the family room, uh -huh. but this is a little more private. So you got I like the double door master. Great entry space. Yes. Okay. You've got oh, the I pitch ceiling, which is nice. Right. And They've added the wood trimming back up there. Mm -hmm. Makes it feel a little more substantial in here. Yeah. But it is a big room. No, I love this. Okay, here's a really great, very bright, huge. Wow. Thoughts? I, you could just have a party in here. True. Or a drink. 
This is a big shower. Now in the old days, <laughs> this would work for me. But here, the great thing is you can have a lot of people in here. I think it's better to go big in a right. shower. Go big or go home? Okay. Yes. Here's your tub. All right. Just for one. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's beautiful. Right. What do you think this one costs? Brentwood. <laughs> 6,000 6, square feet. 6,000 square feet. <laughs> Six mil. Close. 6.895. Okay. Mary? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mary, three. I feel like I'm being scolded. <laughs> Number three. Yeah. So we are in Brentwood. Okay. But we are in the gated area. Right. Very, very different in terms of your location. Okay. It's definitely more posh. So you've got a really grand entry here. Wow, beautiful. Lots of light. Lots of light. Yeah. And you've got formal dining Dark room immediately floors. to your left. Great open formal living room. How about these chairs? I love these chairs. I love that piece. There's so many components in this house yeah. that are drawing you to it. Yeah. It's a sign. But you know, again, you walked into this house thinking you weren't gonna love it. Good, I feel like I can take any one of these houses and make it my own. It would be a matter of how much money you're putting in to make it your own, and if that, you're getting that back in the resale value. But look how private this one is. I love the skylight. Lots of the really pots. beautiful natural light. And right. then here's your master. Are you ready to see this? Very, very large. Look at your view. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's magnificent. It's so incredibly tranquil. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in the I love the, the shape of the pool, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the shape of the pool is magnificent. See, you're falling in love with things that you didn't I, think. That I didn't think I would. Well, that's the beauty of seeing a lot of houses, is that you find different things that you didn't even think that you liked. So, what if you get tired of the stairs? <laughs> There's a solution, they have an elevator. Do you feel like you're in Miami, maybe? But, hey, that's exactly <laughs> what how you're I thinking. feel. I mean, it just has that shape of a hotel pool. Mm -hmm. With the stairs, the lead-in, mm -hmm. the layout. So inviting. Don't you want to just it's, jump in? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about price here. What do you think this one is asking? Nine. Yeah, it's right around nine, two. I'm on a mission to find a house for Charity Guru Mary. She has a wide-ranging budget from three to nine million dollars. If we can find something that can fit her taste and specs at the right price, she will have some money left over to purchase an investment property. I took a gamble and showed her through this luxury penthouse in Beverly Hills. It quickly became apparent that the penthouse lifestyle is not for her. The second house was about 20 minutes from the first and it seems to tick all the boxes for her. I could just live right there. And I showed her this luxury house which has everything money can buy. 